All right, we got another game. We're on the play, or we're on the draw, and I have a gemstone my, uh, caverns. And not much else going on here. Like, if I don't draw another land, I don't do anything. I have two turns. I can probably get rid of the Inferno Titan. We'll keep it. We'll see what happens. So what happens if you mulligan down to one and you get a gemstone caverns? You can't exile it. It just stays into play. You probably you probably deserve to have that gemstone caverns at that point in time without having to exile the card. I don't know if that ever really happens. It's just a funny thought. Alright, so this enters the battlefield tapped, and we need to draw a land next turn. Hopefully an untapped land, because that just turns on everything. What are we playing against? I forgot to look. Oh, Narset. Oh, that's... A slow start against Narset probably isn't great. Still needs six. I don't think Narset plays a lot of counter spells, because they're pretty bad flips. Tap land? Is it Gilgate? That's a strange one. I do have enough colored mana to make. Cast a Maelstrom Wanderer. He gets it next turn. And then I also get mine next turn. So I can go Rook. Can I go Rook and... That untaps two lands. And then I only have three mana. I can't do both, can I? Same thing with Chandra. Chandra adds two mana. So we... Does Gurk just get it to us next turn anyways. I can't go in Chandra. That's five mana. That's not necessary. It's, uh, has the Hedron Archive. Maybe we can get a Wildfire or something on our... Uh, on our Maelstrom Wanderer. He can also whiff on the Narset trigger or miss a land drop. Well, that's pretty good. So, red, green. And then green. And then this color doesn't matter. And this one doesn't really matter. Let's cast it. Is that not enough? Did I add it up wrong? I added it up wrong. Alright, so let's go for a Sylvan Primordial then. Does the same basic thing. And it cuts them off of land. He only has one white land. Does 
Does he, does he have a counter spell? So let's go after that white land. Alright. He gets a scry too. So he was probably going to get the land next turn. He gets bottom top. Um, let's go stomping ground, I guess. I could just go after his lands. Play this card next turn. Can I play Karn and Coalition Relic? One, two, three. So that leaves him at six mana. So no. Let's just attack. Two, three, four. So that's Karn. Just looking to close this game out. Oh, he's got a spell. He's got a counter spell. All right. It must be. He actually is playing counter spells. Interesting. So. Based on that information, Maelstrom Wanderer would have been better. Um, so we Maelstrom Wanderer before attacks, clearly. Green colors don't matter. Maelstrom Wanderer. Wildfire would be pretty good here. Temporal Mastery. I think that's dead. Jace? That's one of the better hits that you can get. Man, that was like no mana ramp, just Jace and Temporal Mastery, and that wins. Okay, so we managed to get there just a little bit faster than Narset could. Um, Narset's a little slow because it's six mana. He ramped once, so um, I think a lot of the time you can Maelstrom Wanderer. My hand was a little slow. Um, his hand actually getting a Sigmet makes it a little bit fast. Um, so I think on average you get there with Maelstrom Wanderer before they get there with Narset. Um, but then it's a matter of what you guys hit. Um, you know, because we're both casting basically free spells. So a little bit of that comes down to luck.